why can church growth be the wrong goal mm. in light of everything we've said yeah can you do that yeah. in a couple of minutes i know it's like literally the first half of the book and we haven't touched on that but yeah 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 okay i'll i'll i'll, I'll share two statements and try to wrap it up number one in the west we are obsessed with growth right? We want our stocks to grow. We want our investments to grow. We want our kids to grow. We want our marriage to grow. Like everything, we are obsessed with growth and we want everything to be up and to the right. Two, opposite statement. 70 years ago, there's a statement said that a shrinking church is a sinning church. A shrinking church is a sinning church. That is not true, but that was a statement that was said and that for the next 70 years, our churches and church practice was heavily shaped and influenced by that trend, by that statement, and by the philosophy that was built up on that. So with that being said, if we believe growth is our responsibility and we don't grow, and if things are all, aren't always up and to the right, either individually in our relationship with God or or within the church, we unintentionally feel shame and we feel guilt and we think it's our fault. But if you look at first Corinthians three, what you read is, Hey, it's Paul and Apollos that plant and water the seeds. You and I plant and water seeds, but God is the one who causes growth. So for all the pastors and church leaders listening in, your responsibility isn't to grow your church. Your responsibility is to be faithful, to plant seeds, to water them, to preach the word, to uphold how truthful and life transforming the word of God is, not to teach your philosophies, but to teach the word of God. That's your responsibility to plant and water. But as individuals, our responsibility is also planting and watering, which isn't I'm going to check off my time with God and I'm done. I should grow, shouldn't I? No, it's actually our responsibility is to be with God, to see our relationship with God, not as a transactional. I read the Bible and I prayed. I did this spiritual discipline. No, no, no. No, actually just spend time with God, linger, cultivate a relationship with God. Mm -hmm.